today to talk about first responders and how yoga helps them in terms of mentally, physically, and all over throughout their day. I actually personally speak with my dear friend, Ginger, who is a first responder, and she's also a yoga teacher, so it's really great to be able to get her insight on how yoga personally helps her and how she can help those that she works with get a little bit deeper into their practice. So I just got off shift, actually just about an hour ago. Oh yeah. Really a long shift, long calls. Ooh. Complicated calls. So. I can feel it in your shoulders. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's usually where I carry a lot of my stress, my tension. My name is Ginger Marshall, and I am a paramedic with a local agency here in Beaufort. I've been a paramedic for about 12 years now. It wasn't really what I started out wanting to do. It's not what I went to school for, but I love my career change that I made. I'm glad to get this massage. And Yoga's really been helping me out quite a bit too. Ooh, tell me more. It just, it helps me when I have to be in those tight situations or the, the stressful situations, I'm able to apply my breathing, yoga breathing technique. Mm -hmm. And that really calms me down. It calms down my uh, sympathetic nervous system and helps me focus on my patient care and provide what I can for them in the best way possible. And then the poses too help. I mean, my back used to, you know me, my back used to go out like once a year until I started yoga. And yeah. It's really helped um, strengthen my core and just strengthen me physically and emotionally and just every which way you can think. Actually, I came into yoga as a pair. I was in, like I was actually working as a paramedic and I suffered a, a back injury, which is a common injury in my profession um, as, in the emergency services, back injuries are quite common because uh, of what we have to do with lifting patients, moving people, moving equipment. So I came into yoga with a back injury and I just started learning about a different way of taking care of myself with the yoga practice. And since I've been doing it now for, I guess it's about seven, eight years, um, my back has not been injured. So it's, it's, it's taught me how to carry myself, how to work with my patients better and just made me feel better overall, actually. I've definitely always say stuff to people. It's like, well, have you tried yoga? You know, <laughs> I have a friend who does yoga and she became a vegetarian and like really helped her with her medical condition. But, you know, I say always check with your doctor first because right. not what worked for her may not work for you. But it's definitely something that's good to apply to your life. Well, my coworkers know that I'm always doing yoga. So when they see me or they see me in my clothes, they're like, oh, there she goes. She's doing the downward diggity dog or something like that. They're always making fun of me. However, I've also had them come to me and say, hey, my back's hurting. What pose do you recommend? And they'll come out and um, do a few yoga poses with me. People think you have to be, you know, a professional bodybuilder to do the job. And right. it's not that, you just have to learn the technique that works best for you. And for you, it seems to be yoga. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I know, I came into it, yoga, due to an injury, my back injury, and I've been amazed at how much better I feel. I would say yoga, to me, means kind of a, a peace of mind, a calmness, and my me time. And it will mean different things to different people. However, that's what I've found it means to me. And when I wasn't doing it for a while because life got in the way, I really noticed the change in who I was and, and how I was interacting with people, how I was interacting with myself or just everything that was present. And so I just recommend and, and just say do what you can do but take your time for you and hopefully you'll find what yoga means to you.